Let me ask you a question. What is your relationship with your phone? Is it a true partnership or more of an it's complicated situation? <laughs> Unfortunately for the most of us, it is the latter. And the way that we use our phones is very, very toxic. But there is a better way. There is a way that allowed me to gain so much clarity and control. This is what's on my iPhone as a digital minimalist. My phone of choice is quite obviously the iPhone 13 mini because man, I just, I just couldn't go with another option. I honestly, I just hate these semi tablets that they make contemporarily. And this form factor is just perfect. I almost always keep it on the silent mode because I don't want this to be my distraction. Okay, let's talk about lock screens first. As you can see, I have got a few. Some are tied to a specific focus like work, sleep or do not disturb, but most are just for my liking. The one I use the most is this one. As you can see, I have got three widgets on this lock screen. I've got my Apple rings, Apple watch battery and my calendar to never forget about appointments. When you unlock the phone, you get to the home screen, duh. But well, mine is pretty minimalistic. That's because I only keep the apps I use every single day here. For like photos, full of my gym pics, Safari and Facebook Messenger. Pretty self-explanatory, not gonna go deep into those. But the app I use every single day is my Apple Calendar, which I think is the best calendar out there. I use it to block out time for certain tasks, as well as keep track of appointments because I, well, I do tend to forget about them. It's very simple, easy to use, and that's what I love. Then the next app is super awesome. It's called Spendy and it's pretty much just a finance tracker, but it automates the entire process and makes it seamless to track where your money is going, which I personally think everyone should be doing. As you can see, all my expenses are listed here. And also if you go into the spending overview, the app categorizes the expenses for an easy overview to see where your money is going exactly as well as where it's coming from. That allows me to track and think of how I can spend my money better in the future. The next app is my college app. It's useful to know where I have classes and when. Next one is Musicbed. This is where I look for music for these videos. Now, this next app might be the most important app on my phone. It's called Streaks and it's the only one that has a notification badge. I almost never allow notifications, but I do for this one because that's how much I want it to remind me to use it. This is my habit tracker. For example, you can see that, well, my morning routine is not my best habit yet, but we're getting there. You can see stats, you can see how many completions you have, meditation is going pretty good as you can see. And when you complete it, it's just awesome to be able to look at all these statistics, which allow you to track your habits way better than if you haven't done that. I used to track my habits in the paper, habit tracker it didn't work too well this one is awesome it dings when you complete it complete a habit and honestly i could not have imagined a better app really one of the best apps i have here the next one is my bank app which i'm not going to go in for obvious reasons and google maps which i think in europe is the best navigation platform right next to that is sonos which i use to play music in my home speaker i can s group speakers from different rooms it's pretty fun but again nothing too fancy here and last but not least i've got my clock app which i use to wake up mostly nothing really much i am not a psycho i have only three reminders to wake up and a reminder to get up I have my phone, my messages and Apple Music. I use it because it's got awesome curation of playlists, but it is not the most intuitive to use. Last but not least, there's the camera. I don't use a shortcut for it because I want it to launch immediately. On my next page, I have got my tracker to my 25th birthday when I want to become a millionaire. I don't know, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Just a fun thing to have. And that is all of that's on my phone. Whenever I want to search for a different app, I just slide down and search for it. Like this is my sports app for my gym membership. Or if I want to meditate, I go to Insight Timer. There you go. It's an awesome app for meditation. By the way, I have begun meditating recently. I've been doing it for like 20 days. Honestly, life-changing. I would never have said I was very skeptical, but wow, the focus that you get, the amount of energy that you have to work, it's just incredible. So yeah, uh, some other apps, I use the fitness app to track my exercise. 
it's a great way to just have all the info in one place. And also the health app to track my biometric data, which is, uh, you know, it's not necessary, but it's a fun thing to look at. I do care about my sleep recently, so, so this helps me track, you know, my breathing or my heart rate, the REM sleep and so on and so forth. Some other apps that I use, well, I'd say that's it, you know, I do use Be Real for my social media, no other social media on my phone, absolutely none. Buffer and business suit for my work. And that's pretty much it, honestly. There is almost nothing here. All of the other apps I use really sporadically. Again, absolutely no social media. It's been one of the best decisions ever to quit these apps from my phone. I still use them on my computer, but it's a way different experience. And yeah, that is honestly it.